Mr. That's scary. That's really scary. Stop it. Stop it. No. Welcome to Items of Interest, Points, and Proper Good Outdoor. Oh my god! What's your name? Hey! Stop yeah. trying to be like him! <laughs> like him? You know who! Oh. We're not. What? <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying. The amazing episode of 44. What was it? Remember? It's about death! Death and destruction! Yeah. Wow. And all things related to that. Yeah. We have a uh, cake. Yeah, we, we definitely have. Do we do. We yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Hey. Um, what, what do you do? Yeah, just get, just hand it to him. Hand it to him. Then I want <laughs> What's he been doing with the crayons? It's just been a wild week, you know? What's he doing with crayons? He's a heroin addict, and now he's just coloring. They like to color. Yeah, they like to color. Like I don't know about that. No, man, they love to color. Trust me, that's that's one thing. They don't want you to know about them, though, because they don't want you to think they're gay. Oh, really? Is that really a problem? I do, mean, do when you you're on the streets, you can't be, you gotta be tall. Oh, you know, you yeah, but do you... You can't let people think you're out there trying to draw us. But... And yeah, but, color on some color yeah, but, but, but you know? no, but <laughs> Mister, do you really think? Do you really think being gay is the biggest issue they have at this point? They're on heroin. That's not the biggest issue. Hey, right? Mind your business. That's what they say. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, because when you're on the streets, you don't ask nothing. You know, work is different than. You, know, you didn't see life. nothing, you don't know nothing. I mean, when you suck at a dick, maybe you're just on the clock, you know? Whoa! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, what'd you call Uh-oh. What is that? You're dropping things. I know. Yeah. This is a tremendous cake, look. <sighs> look at, look at him, folks. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know. He doesn't know how to do this. It's okay. Bam. That's you. Yeah. Come on, short baby arms. Stop it. Stop pulling it away from me. You're yeah. pulling it away. I have a small Stop. slice. They making cakes out of soda now. It's really a big slice. It's it's actually huge. Folks, he's he's lying. He's lying. It's it's actually big. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of things big up in this joint. And like this cake he, oh never mind is one of, <laughs> never mind i don't i don't want to embarrass you okay never mind oh, i like that end piece right there oh hmm yeah you definitely like the end piece anyway whatever <laughs> no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding it's not true folks you know he's um he's rather distinguished um he doesn't engage in lewd sexual acts with the um what would we call it? Bitches. <laughs> the poop shit. <laughs> the bitches and the, the poop shit. <laughs> yeah, the, the Hershey Highway is what you call it. <laughs> yeah, the that Hershey is actually Highway. what you call it. Back. Get that fucking Michael Myers shit out of here. They can't even see it. Okay, now they can. <laughs> okay. I don't have to right. know anymore. What do you mean you don't even know anymore? We're four minutes in. We're over four minutes in. I'm holding a knife, and we're, we've just got cake. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Is it good? Put that on your lips. Uh, you want me to take this out there? I'm just, I'm just sitting here with a knife. Give me that. Give me it right now. No. Put the cake on your lips and taste that deliciousness. I never had a 7-Up cake. News break. I ate fish sticks for the yeah. first time. You like 37 it. years a slave to no fish sticks. No fish sticks. And they were so delicious. Mm -hmm. But the name was always unappealing to me. 
I was calling them fish dicks, is what I was calling them. My whole life I thought, that it has to be disgusting. And mm -hmm. one day I said, fuck it, I'm going to use fish sticks. The motherfuckers are so delicious. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been missing out. It's very, very good. I imagine that, um... I imagined that this cake would taste like, um... Uh, or, or, um, um, our, what do you want to call him? He's our new addition. He eats virgins. What would you call him? Um, Charles? I imagine when I asked him what the virgins taste like, they would taste like this cake, but no, they taste like chicken. They do. I he heard. He said that. Yeah. I heard. Scary. Isn't that scary? More like frog legs. Yeah. Wow. Frog well, legs? Polarized, the gripping, yeah. lost look in everyone's eyes. Another coupon, another bathroom without soap or toilet paper. People disappearing with an empty look in their tired about eyes. This isn't my first rodeo, nor the last. Brandon Flowers. Your homeboy ate dick in a biking accident. Really? No, I've been holding a secret. Oh, okay. All week long. Hmm. Right now, you, you got a mad, mad hard on for Brandon Flowers. No. And he's a cool dude. And But I was looking not at Not at all. Dudes. He fucking had a horrible bike accident. Yeah. He not at all. all. fucked up. Actually, Mr. No, he is a very mm -hmm. handsome man, but no. Did you know that he's actually kind of temperamental? I don't, I don't know nothing. I don't think we'd get along. No. I'm not... See, I'm not that vain. People think that you have to be handsome and, and all this and to get attention. No, not really. Personality's a big... I've seen midgets, big cop brutality, orgies in person, lakes, mirror the moon backwards towards me. As a galactical space message. Didn't never go back to school. Remember we... You scared me getting off the moped and the zombie camp. Remember when... Yeah, yeah, I wrote yeah, that yeah, note yeah, down. Yeah, Remember yeah. when... <laughs> yeah. I remember it. You remember when you scared me and I was on the moped mm -hmm. and the zombie ant? Mm-hmm. How did I scare you? Well, you, you you was playing the game. And you got off the moped. Mm -hmm. And I said, don't get off the moped. Right. Whatever you do. I don't. know. And then I I, yeah. and then you, I heard that dog and I started screaming. Yeah. And I up there going, <laughs> ah! But, but, ah! <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, and but you, you know noticed what? that. But, and I was like, I told you. Right, but. Don't get yeah, 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 yeah. I bed. knew. Because you hear that. I know. I know. Like, no. I know. But, but I had to. <laughs> I told you don't get but off I the moped. But I had, I know, but I had to. But I was actually so calm about it. I just got back on the moped <laughs> and just sped off as fast as I could, <laughs> 15 miles per hour. <laughs> but I you know what? You, it was 15. Whatever you do, don't get yeah. off the moped. It was, right, it right, was yeah, the but... red sun moon. Right, but it was, it a... was the red moon, and you know them bastards. Moon. Yeah, yeah, but, the was, yeah moon. but the thing is. And you know how vicious they get. You got zombies flying yeah. forever, and they right, super I know. Charged. Right, okay. When you hear that. Yeah. But and the thing uh, is, oh. I sped off. At a hot 15 miles per hour. All you gotta I was... do is drive around in circles for like 15 minutes. Yeah, You'll be pretty out much. Of frenzy. Yeah. But no, you want to get some, You say, wait, look, there's an old. 15 minutes. There's an old car over here. Let me check it, see if anything's in it. No, no. No, no I didn't. <laughs> I stopped to check my map. No. Yes, I did. Don't I check it I, I it wanted so to hard, know where I was away, going. Though, didn't you? I did get away. I did. My heart didn't. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran <laughs> know, of this. It was badass, and I was so calm about it. I just got <laughs> back on the fucking moped or whatever. It just You horrified me though. I, I just knew you. Were I was down. flying I at fifteen team, miles per I know, hour. I know, I know but it's right. hard you know, it's hard 
too. Yeah, like, and then when you when get you down the hills, playing, when you know, get I'm down just... the hills, it's it's bumpy. Yeah. It's scary. You remember, I got and stuck fast? in that river, and I had to build a yeah. fucking road under my motorcycle mm -hmm. just to get it out, and I'm fucking fighting. Somebody. Scary, really scary. I love it. Oh, for real. You know what I figured oh, out, yes. mystery? Do you know what I figured out? I what? like to scare myself. Mm -hmm. Because I think of it this way. If I'm scared, there's something I don't know. So I have to go to it. I have to go to it, right? Because we have a fear of the unknown. So you got to go into it yeah. and figure out what it is. And a lot of people... You have to take a pee. Yeah, but they'd look at you and say, you're stupid. Don't do that. It's a death trap. But you got to know. Because if you don't know, you got to know. you got to go into it. Sometimes you just can't handle the thunder. They can't handle the thunder. That's her new line. They can't handle it. You can't handle the thunder, baby. They can't handle it. They really can't. You can't handle the walk into the danger zone. You just can't handle it. You can't handle the thunder. When you take, when you take that plate to the sink and you're carrying a knife and you fall on it, you couldn't handle the thunder. You, you couldn't, couldn't handle, handle it. You just, just couldn't handle it. That could have happened to me. Get stabbed. Stabbed. Yeah. You can't handle the thunder. <laughs> you can't handle the thunder. <laughs> you just can't handle it. Woman with IBS. We call it mud bogging on Tuesday night. Mud butt? Scary. Isn't that scary? Very scary. Ooh. <laughs> That's hot. That's really hot. That's hot. Alright. So, uh, what you got? <laughs> oh, you're done? You're done? I was thoroughly entertained. But yeah. yeah. Um, what you got? Oh, um, let's see. I'm not let's no, uh, I'm not no one-man band. You know what I'm right. Um, so, here's a good question. And this is related to death, by the way. Mister, are you listening? Gosh, <laughs> look at those coy smiles. And Okay. So, when we die, do, do we have to relive all of our dreams, too? I never thought of that. Do we? No. Really? You don't think so? No. Well, so, why not? Do you think? Do you think because when we sleep we're already in a death-like state? Does I, it have I something think to... I get reorganized. Yeah. Whoa. Maybe a white plane. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Because Jim Morrison made the reference that when you die you have to relive all this. Right? But what about the what? dreams too? What, what about the dreams? What? Jim Morrison? Yeah. What the fuck? It's an interesting topic. I know he's nobody to nobody, but I just want to know if that's a real thing. I just... If it's a real concept that you have to relive everything when you die, do we have to relive the dreams too? It's just an no. idea. No, the, the, dream, the dreams are telling. Yeah. The dreams had nothing to do with the past. Yeah. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Are you really 100% sure I'm about that? Sure. <laughs> I'm pretty okay. the past more than day dreams than night dreams. I know. I do it all the time, but don't... Don't tell anyone. This is, don't tell anybody. This is insane. What do you mean this is insane? It was just an idea. Yeah, it's, it's just an idea. No, it's you cool. look at me no, like I'm bringing I, I like facts it, to you. No, Jim Morrison no, no, no. ain't shit. He don't know nothing. But it was an idea he had. I, I thought, if it's true, do we have to relive the dreams? And you said no. We get reorganized. I just it's a telling of the whatever the fuck. The universe or the future or something. This is what you say to me. It, essentially. But that's okay. That I just was asking you. I don't have all the facts. Jim Morrison didn't have all the facts. He ate acid like a fiend. He just balled up sheets of acid and ate it. What the hell does he know? He was probably retarded when he died. 
He died in a bathtub or something. No, but no offense. No know. offense to him. No. He's all right, dude. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> the worker. Uncertain of the world, only moving full of heartless apologies. Creep in, distant eyes, hungry on the inside, just wondering what else your new complaint. As we are simply getting by, nothing left in the form, obsessed bosses, painting, screaming, and demanding the second coming of God. After the punishment, laughing under a falling stone. The world is your oyster, now come suck these nuts. <laughs> what? Gosh! <laughs> and then you, you go around and you're like, do people hate me? I'm like, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. Why? I tell you no, because I think you're adorable. And I see a different side of you, but yeah. <laughs> People hate you because you say things like, suck these nuts. <laughs> That's why. I don't hate you. Some days. <laughs> no. Aww. No, I don't hate you. However, you tell people things like, suck these nuts. And then you tell them things like, hey, Deborah, why don't you get these hot tits over here and do some work, you bitch. And then you say other things to them. I do not. Yes, you do. And then you say other <laughs> similar, yeah. Oh. All these obscenities, you just, you use them. I, I do not call them things. But I, I, in your defense, maybe. I'm actually, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. But in your defense. But for a third time, I give them three. Okay, tries, but you know, in. I always say that. Listen, <laughs> this is in your defense, so maybe you should listen. Maybe they can't handle the thunder. <laughs> maybe they can't. Maybe every once in a while, mm -hmm. you get around a little bitch who stepped into the kitchen that had a huge sign. Yeah. And you know what it said on that sign? <laughs> Two not enter if you cannot handle the thunder. Yeah. <laughs> but they said they could. But you know what little Johnny couldn't? Yeah. He couldn't handle the thunder. Couldn't handle the thunder, well. Scary. Really scary. <laughs> Look at that smile. That's so Look at that smart, cute smile. Man. He has such a nice smile. Anyway, you don't, how was your yeah, week? you don't smile enough. <laughs> don't ask about my week. I don't have a week. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't fucking exist. But the thing is, <laughs> I also have another question. Okay. I have another question. Um. So here's another idea. There's no facts. There's no proof. There's no nothing. It was just an entertaining notion. Here's what I wrote one day. I'll read it to you. You can give me your thoughts, mister. I think in a lot of ways, we're all demons living in these bodies to have fun. What are your thoughts? Because that's, I... Yeah. That's, that's very entertaining. Yeah, because it's an entertaining notion because... What, um... Aren't you really possessing... What, what my, um... That body? What my grandmother would tell me is, you're not supposed to talk about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you never, you never talked about it. <laughs> okay. I respect that. That's fine. No. Yeah. Um, no. Okay. Yeah, but... Okay. What else do you Whatever reason about? for it, okay, whatever. What else do you have to talk about? Yeah, nothing more, basically. No. We didn't get anywhere with Charles that, Charles Bronson could be released from prison as early as this year. Um, he's stoked. You know, you remember Charles Bronson, the, the fucking guy Wait. that's been beating the shit out of people for fucking 30 fucking years? Yeah. The most dangerous prisoner. 
Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm different now. Mm-hmm. But every time he does that, he beats the shit out of somebody and ends up back in prison. But he's like, nah. Yeah. I'm good. And they let him out and he just fucking gets I'm going to fist fight for a living. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have the game? I do. But I actually have a different... Now I have a different notion. <laughs> I have a different <laughs> one. And it's it's related to the one earlier that you don't want to talk about. Okay. <laughs> so, but <laughs> I'm so sorry. My mind never shuts the hell up. I just it's like one no, idea no, bounces off for it. another no. and another and another, and I just keep multiplying ideas, and it's just no, awful. I, I, okay. I work all week just for this moment. Okay. I, I love sitting here and just talking. Okay, so let's not call it demons. It, it but, oh, let's not even call it demons. But let's just focus on you and me, for that matter, okay? Mm-hmm. Well, seeing as... and Let's just, just cut to the chase here. If there's any repercussions for what I'm about to say, I'm already tortured as it is, and as I see it, when I die, I'm probably going to have to relive the same tortures. Over and over and over again, and knowing me, as gullible as I am, it's going to take maybe 70 tries to figure it out before I can move forward. That's called purgatory, I think. But, in other words, folks, I have to pay for this. But what I'm going to say to you is this. Are you not, technically, possessing a body? You have one. You have one. So do I. Right? Right? Uh, you come from a single cell organism? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just, you just, you just a fish. Right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a sea monkey. Almost, kind of. Yeah. I mean, you can't see them unless it's under a microscope, but that's us. We're in there. You eat, you shit. Live and you die. Yeah. Hey, do you think that? Do you think we're not we're not gonna call them the D word, but do you think that there's uh, let's call them creatures? Do you think that they eat us when we die? Do you think that they eat us like dinner, and that's how we pay for all like all of our sins and stuff? It's just an idea. It would be kind of cool. It would be kind of neat. I um. don't. I don't give a damn. Me neither. It's fun. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, folks. I do this to him. I think I didn't. You sure did. I'm sorry. But I, I, I weather it. I just. I'm sorry. But but I'm listening. I'm thinking, and I'm be honest with you. I really care less. Wow, that's cool. Cause it's full speed ahead. So then you're probably not going to want to answer this one. Oh, yeah, we'll answer it. Well, but it might be against your beliefs. You might not want to answer Okay. Let me just read what... Let me just read what I wrote the other day. I don't even know if I have any beliefs. So, you do. You do. Because you just said, we don't talk about I don't that. Talk about it so, I don't want we don't talk shit. about it. <laughs> me neither. Me neither. I'm just so curious. I'm about just it. curious, but we're not talking about it. <sighs> You'll de- you're shit. definitely not going to answer this rude. one. So what? <laughs> rude, rude. Gosh, you really. I thought you had more fun than that. So what do angels mean to you? Question mark. What is your idea, or um, like, what um, is your idea on what angels actually they, are? They look like what are little they? Little chubby midget babies. I don't think so. Things. You don't believe that. And they naked and they always that. hugging and kissing and shooting love arrows. Yeah, are they jerking off too, Mister? They don't have no. No. Guns. Why is that? That's why they rub their bellies together. <laughs> <laughs> For what? What does that achieve? <laughs> does it? Does it? <laughs> what? Without result. What? So they forever hug it. Wow. Like angels so, do. 
Okay, so then, okay, so you know how some people... Always barely hugging. Wow, that's really kinky, but hey. Like little baby. I get, Mr. I have a question. I have a question. <laughs> About the angels. So you know how some people... <laughs> Like the one you have on the piano. Yeah. Some people keep yeah, him around, that's one of them right there. and they think that, right? But Raul. they right? But they think that they're um, like guardians or something. Like yeah. they're that they, that they, they, they're protection or something. So if you have them around, it's a it's a good thing. Okay. Like it's auspicious. Uh, but do, do you really believe that? Your mother don't think so. No, she doesn't. She don't believe they that. They don't like them, man. No. They say it. Well, well she's them. she's of the belief that if it's in a depiction of an angel on Earth, it is not. It is it is it is evil. It is a it is actually demonic because angels are not supposed to be here. That's her idea. Her idea is that angels are not supposed to be on planet Earth. So that's that's strange. But everyone has their own ideas, and then some people think. I guess they think that angels do come to Earth and that they have the power to protect and guide people and, and all kinds of things. So I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, That's whatever. some wild shit. Um, you laying some wild knowledge on me today. I'm sorry. You, you came in here with the heat and I love it. Okay. I love it. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Don't but, get me wrong. Okay, but okay, but can I tell you one thing? Can I tell you one thing? Whenever you don't answer one of my questions, I'm just I, about I know, it. but I droop like a flower. I feel I'm bad. I'm sorry. I'm just, I, I mean, bad. you asked some good questions. I, you know, I can't. I'm sorry. I got to think about that shit. You know. Wow. But that, I like it. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. You're not just gaining not. pussy points. <laughs> You're not getting pussy points for saying Look, that you like it. <laughs> okay. There's one thing in this world in 37 years I've never had to work for and you know what it is pussy I know pussy yeah 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 cause I it's you either have... there or not I really don't give a fuck yeah and you have charm but guess what <laughs> a little comes along every once in a while really how often well it used to I'm just it saying used growing to. up wow scary but so what do you do with them when they come along, what do you do with them? Grab them man. Do you take them in the bathroom? You take them in the do you bathroom. do it in front of the mirror? In front you, of the mirror. Really? Remember, folks. Last call. Folks, you can actually. <laughs> as you, I said me. in one of our previous the dirty episodes. Mirror. In one of our previous episodes, folks, we <laughs> we wanted to know if you if you do it doggy style in the bathroom in front of the mirror. <laughs> We want to know what the experience was, and we want you to write in, or just comment, whatever. But yeah. You are Do fucking it. in a, <laughs> what, like a, like in a third dimension. Isn't that scary? Yeah, you... So it's not two, it's four. <laughs> and counting that fucking fruit fly up there, that's two, that's, that's, that's four dudes and four fruit flies. That's... So you got... <laughs> Because the fruit flies are fucking... No, yeah, that's right. Fucking, right. That's like eight days. Okay. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, you're right, because you got to factor in because the fruit flies, because they're also flies, watching they're themselves in the mirror. In the mirror, too. So that's... <laughs> and you're fucking in the yeah. mirror, too. So that's... That's scary. Dude. Well, when I say dudes, men and women, you know, like, but like people, I call people dudes sometimes because I'm stupid. What? <laughs> <laughs> a man scary. and a woman, two fruit flies. <laughs> it just uh, it's it's just a whole lot of passion. <laughs> All in the mix. Just a whole lot of passion. A whole lot of passion. Yeah. We call like those it. summer nights. And folks, do you talk when it happens? Do you do you talk during the act or no? It depends. Because some people like to talk. Sometimes. <laughs> You're just trying to make up for something you did wrong. <laughs> what? Make up for something you did wrong? And, what? And you don't want to say too much. <laughs> what? Oh my god, you're so you funny. You just try to bring some joy to the world. Yeah, and then other right. times you yeah, just want to be I get an it. animal. I get it. Yeah. And you're going to smack that ass 
say, <laughs> who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. Isn't that scary? <laughs> yes. That's it's scary. fucking horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave out any names, okay? But there is one person that I tease to death and I say, so you know, like how is it in dad life? So what is it like cause he's actually a dad? But I'll say things like, Hey dad <laughs> like so how's it going in dad life <laughs> and shit? It's funny. Cause it's not even really it sounds kinky, but it's not. Because if you're a dad Really, you have children. Yeah. You're a dad. Living it's not a dad life. But at that point, it's just humorous. It's funny. <laughs> like, so how are you doing a dad life? Do you ever just sit there in dad life and want to blow your brains out? <laughs> like, things like that. I'll say things like that. And I love it. Because I have a dark sense of humor. That's cool. And I'll say things. We even know somebody that I call the Christ killer. Little Jewish chick. <laughs> leave out names. We leave out names, but I call her the Christ killer. She thinks it's funny. You know, <laughs> you gotta laugh. I love it, man. Anyway, do you want to do the game? This I do one, have the game. You, you left it out last time. I know. So but running. you did it. <laughs> but can't, what? Yeah, I did. You did the I game. I had to make up for yeah. the work you didn't do. You took the torch. Yeah, I took the torch and I ran away and <laughs> said, Don't worry, baby, I got this one. And the I work just, I didn't I, do. Well, I. Which you can't have the it all the time. Said, I don't have the game. You can't have week. it all the time. And I said, okay, you don't have a game. Ah, have the game. And we did the game, and I had a unicorn, and I got. I got fired from my sex classes and the swim classes, and the, I had to live in a cabin, mm -hmm. and I and I lived there with the unicorn, and we oh. had black love children, mm -hmm. black four, probably eight of them. Yeah. Okay. It anyway. Was, you know, I recovered. So finish the story. Excuse me. Finish the story. You're driving down a lonely, desolate road, and so you have to pick a number between one and four. Pick a number. Pick a number. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Okay. You, Mister. Okay. You 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 curse yourself for not bringing enough snacks along for the ride. Okay. So you encounter a hitchhiker. You're pulling up to a hitchhiker. What do you do? Pick a number between one through four. Five. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Three. You agree to let him hitch a ride, but now he won't stop talking. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what happens next? If you let him in your ride, which you did... There's also an option for not letting him in your ride. So, if you let him in your ride, pick a number, one or two. Two. He is so annoying, you tell him to get the fuck out after 30 minutes. <laughs> you just shove him out, and you keep driving. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. So, the last part. This is the kicker. Karma. Karma. Because you had this experience. You were driving down the road. You encountered a hitchhiker. You let him in your vehicle. You agreed to take him to his destination. He was annoying as all hell. You let him out. So what happens? If you let him in your vehicle, here's how it turns out for you. Pick a number, one or two. One. He despised you, but he got home safely. In six months' time, you win the lottery, and you win big. Now I know you lying, so. No, not at all. No. Do you want to know what the other option <laughs> was? Because the other, the other option was, your lack of tolerance and patience comes back to bite you. You're presently bleeding out from a head wound in the emergency room after having wrecked your bike. Okay, so, I mean, it could have been bad. Yeah. It's strange. 
So the the way I interpret that is you didn't take him to his destination because you let him out after 30 minutes. But he still got home fine. No problems. So maybe he had to be let out. He had to be let out. And that was fortuitous for him. That's how you got good karma in that instance. Yeah. What an amazing journey. <laughs> okay. It you was know, just fun. We couldn't have done it without Joe Biden. Without Joe Biden. Leave him out of this. <laughs> this is not a political podcast. I know. I just you wanted to fucking do it. Did you eat your cake? I ate Mr. my Mister, did you eat your cake? Too. No. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, he didn't. Folks, look at the evidence. Look at the evidence. He didn't eat it. Hey, what okay. do you think so far? Right, how's, how's it hanging? <laughs> Is that what you say to all the girls? <laughs> Is that yeah. what you say? Um, did I tell you about the sharks with the baby face? You mentioned it, and I'm horrified. You still haven't seen hey, it? I didn't it see it. I did not see it. I did not see it. The sharks with the human faces. Mr. This is wicked. What you're telling me is wicked. And ejaculating um, no. parasitical <laughs> eggs in 1944 in the what? name of science. Claude Barlow. Look it up. What? They ejaculated parasitical um, eggs in 1944. What are you telling me? I'm just saying. Right Look now. It it's crazy shit. It's crazy science. You know? Parasitical. I was reading about it. I had to stop reading. Eggs. <laughs> because, yeah, it's fucking crazy. In yeah. what? Like, in what host? What? What is it? If it's a parasite, then what does it feed off of? What is... What the hell? Parasitical eggs. The, the, in, in relation to what? Are they on dogs? Are they in your dog's mouth? Are they living in our bodies as microbes? What the fuck is going on? What you is know, happening? You're you, telling me scary do you have things. Anything else? No, I don't have anything else. And we're at a 30, 3752. <laughs> but this is about uh, death, so we need. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who died? What do you mean, who died? Do you know anyone who died? So well, I do have I do have a a question though, and it's interesting. This is actually in, in relation to um, a, a story. It's an old um, I think folk tale or whatever you'd consider it from Japan about a lady who comes to town and buys formula for a baby. She does this faithfully, same time every day. She's always buying formula. And the man who sells it to her is wondering, where is the baby? Because she never has a baby. So he gets very, he gets awfully curious one day. And he follows her to see where she goes. But she disappears into a cemetery. And now this is already horrific. He's thinking, what the hell? A, a cemetery? Goes in there. He follows her to the grave where she stops she disappears he's like what there's crying he hears the crying of a baby she died and was buried with her baby the baby was still alive but the story so she was still feeding the baby after she died so the story is it's essentially about honoring your family like you, you, you care for your family even in death. You, that's that's how much you are loyal and dedicated. They believe in that. That is actually strongly. So I did this day. If people feel that they've somehow disrespected their family or harmed them, they might commit suicide. That's a real thing in Japan. It's a, it's ingrained in their culture. Now, 
I don't know what your beliefs are on this, but do you think that you should, you should really honor your family, even in, even in death, well, and you should honor your dead too, living and dead. My family don't necessarily have to be my blood family, either. right? Because I don't really keep that many people close. I don't either. Yeah. But like when I'm around, if you do anything wrong to them, you've done something wrong. Yeah. To them, and I, I cut you off all yeah. together. And oh yeah. Yeah, you, I just, right. I, I, right. I mean, but I don't let too many people. No, like, no, no, no. To, you know, that's. Right. And you're, I think that's, that's one thing you and I strongly have in common. When you do let somebody I'm in. I'm crazy, but I have, no, I have really but strict morals. I do too. When you let someone into your life like that, you consider them family. If anybody harms that person, this is, this is life and death. Yeah. yeah, it is. I do not like that. And it, here's the thing, and you know this, and we've almost been together for 10 years. In 10 years' time, it normally takes a lot to really piss me off. It normally takes a lot. You've got to really be pushing the right button. The one thing that pisses me off is if you harm the people I love. I can't tolerate it. I can't. And you're the same way. Can't tolerate it. Yeah. I'm so angry. <laughs> yeah. But normally you never see me that angry. No. Now, <laughs> now what happens though is I can get irritated, but I normally just walk away. I go find a place to just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. Anyway, we're at 4208. Is there is there anything more you have uh, to add? Anything more? I don't think. I, I think I've been said too much as it is. I'm scared about the baby faced shark thing. That scares me. Love. Where do you think it came from? An underground lab or something, or like, do you, think, mama. do you think maybe they released it? Your mom. <laughs> and they're just, <laughs> what? Your mom. Okay, anyway. Your mom. Okay. Your mama. Your mama. Tune in next week.